So now we're going to graph rational function. The, our function is f of x equals to 3x squared, 3x squared minus 8x minus 3 over 2x squared plus 7x minus 4. So given this one, we could identify already. We could first simplify. Kasi kapag x squared, kapag may x squared, at saka trinomial, ibig sabihin tatlong terms, you could, the best way is to factor this out. To factor this, the factor is 3x plus 1 x minus 3 over to factor 2x squared plus 7x minus 4. The factor is 2x minus 1. The factors are 2x minus 1 as a x plus 4. Para mas madali siya ang solve. So y intercepts. So y intercept, what you're going to do is let x be equal to 0. So ang x dito, gawin mong 0. So magiging f of 0 is equal to 3 times 0 squared minus 8 times 0 minus 3 over. Kupiyahin mong 2. Ang x gawin mong 0. Kupiyahin ng squared. Kupiyahin ng plus. 7. Change x to 0 minus 4. 3 times 0. Or 0 squared is 0. Times 3 is 0. Minus 0 minus 0 minus 3. That's negative 3 over 2 minus uh, 2 times 0 is 0 plus 0 minus 4. So that's negative 4. However, negative di divided by negative, you're going to divide this by calculator. The answer is 0 0.75. So that's the answer. That's our y intercept. So kung hanapin natin dito, y Hanapin natin si 0 0.75. So, dito si 0 0.75 bago mag 1. Ibig sabihin ang graph dadaan dito. So, next, the x-intercept. To identify the x-intercept, yung numerator, mas madali dito mag-base. So, numerator, 3x plus 1, x minus 3, equate mo sa 0. I-divide mo itong first factor, Equal, equate mo 0 ng x minus 3 equate mo rin sa 0 so pagatin mo, equate, equate mo sa 0 so mas madali lang to transpose mo sa 3 x is equals to 3 for the x intercept so dito naman i-transpose mo si 1 una magiging negative 1 divide both sides by 3 very good, cancel x is equals to negative one third. Hanapin mo sa x na negative one third. Negative. So, this side. Negative one third is dito. Hati mo sa tatlo. That's negative one third. Dito naman, x is equal to 3. Hanapin mo sa x equals to 3. So, dito siya. So, x axis. Hanapin mo sa 3. That's x equals to 3. Ibig sabihin, ang graph, dadaan dito, dadaan na dyan, dadaan rin. Dyan. Next, we're going to identify now the vertical asymptote. To, ver to identify the vertical asymptote, gamitin mo yung denominator. Itong denominator, equate mo sa 0. So, 2x minus 1, equate mo sa 0. The other one is x plus 4, equate mo sa 0. So, dito, transpose mo siya, x is equal to negative 4. Dito naman, transpose mo si 1, 2x, ang negative magiging positive. Divide both sides by 2. Cancel, x equals to 1 half. So this is the vertical asymptote. Ibig sabihin, line siya. So x equals to 1. 1 half, rather. x equals to 1 half dito si x. Ito x, 1 half dito. So it's a vertical line. So this is our vertical asymptote. And x equals to negative 4. x equals to negative 4. This is x, negative 4. You, you make a dotted line. A putul putul line. That's our x equals to negative 4 and x equals to 1 half, which are our vertical asymptotes. Next, the horizontal asymptote, the asymptote, there's a rule. So here's the rule. If n is greater than m, then the horizontal asymptote is y equals to 0. If n is equal to m, then the horizontal asymptote is y is equal to a over b. If n is greater than m, 
n is less than rather here, n is greater than m. Mas kung mas malaki si n kaysa si m, then there is no horizontal asymptote. So for this one, our our function is f of x is equal to 3x squared minus x 8x minus 3 over 2x squared plus 7x minus 4. So cn, para manaman natin cn, siya yung pinakamataas na exponent sa taas. So, sa pinakamalaking exponent dito sa taas is 2. Cm, yung pinakamalaking exponent sa baba, or the greatest exponent here is 2. So, n is equal to m. Kasi magkapareho silang 2, therefore n is equal to m. So, because n is equal to m, then the horizontal asymptote is y equals to ab. So, sino yan? Si a over b. Ito si A, ito si B. Yung katabi ng variable na may pinakamataas na exponent. Yan si A. Kung sa baba naman, yan si B. Yung pinakamataas na ng x na may pinakamalaking exponent. So, 3 at saka si 2. So, y is equal to AB, which is equal to 3 over 2, which is also equal to 1.5. So, dito sa graph, hanapin natin si 1.5 na y. So, this is y, 1.5. So, this is 1.5. So, our horizontal asymptote is this one. So, that's our horizontal asymptote. So, now, we're going to proceed with the table of values for this one, the table of values. For the table of values, as you could see, itong graph natin, itong graph, hinati siya sa tatlong parts ni vertical asymptote. These are vertical asymptotes, this one and this one. So, hinati niya itong part, itong sa gitna nilang dalawa, saka itong sa gilid. So, sa bawat parts na yan, sa bawat part na yan, you're going to choose th three values. Na palagay mo madali lang. So, I choose in here, negative 5. In this part, sa negative 5, sa negative 6, at saka sa negative 10. Dito naman sa gitna, ang pinili ko, pwede mo piliin si 0. But I choose negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3. And this part naman, sa gilid nito, sa gilid ni x equals to 1 half, si, ang pinili ko dyan is si 1, si 2, at saka si 5. So, if you're going to choose that, you write it in the table of values. So, here in the table of values, again, I choose negative 10, negative 6, and negative 5 negative 3, negative 2, and negative 1. And in this side, is 1, 2, and 5. As you can see, there's already an answer, but we're going to solve that one by one. If you find it very difficult to solve that, use, choose, you use calculator. So, in this one, hindi ko siya nilagyan so that we would see an example. So, to see an example, ganito ang pag-solve. So, x, f of x, is equal to our original one is this one 3x squared minus 8x minus 3 over 2x squared plus 7x minus 4 let x be negative 10 so si x gawin natin negative 10 so ang lahat ng x magiging negative 10 so 3 times negative 10 squared minus 8 negative 10 minus 3 over copy 2 si x magiging negative 10 squared copy si squared plus 7 si x magiging negative 10 minus 3 is equal to negative 10 squared is negative 10 times negative 10 times 3 so negative 10 times negative 10 100 times 3 is 300 minus Negative 8 times negative 10 is positive 80 minus 3. Or simply use calculator if you find it difficult. 100 negative 10 times negative 10 squared is 100 times 2. 200 plus 7 minus 10 plus 7 times negative 10 is negative 70 minus, is it 3? It's 4. 4 is equal to 300 plus 80 minus 3 is 217 eh, no 377 300 plus 80 380 minus 3 377 over 
200 minus 70 is 130 minus 4 is 126. Divide 377 by 126 is 2.99. So it's 2.99. If you're going to graph this already now, as you can see, if it is negative 10, it's 2.99. So if it is negative 10, kapag negative 10, it's 2.99. So straight siya dito, straight rin siya dito. Itong 2.99, malapit na siya sa 3. Ito siya, straight siya dyan. So as you can see, straight siya. Next. Negative 6, negative 6, 5.88. Negative 6, 5.88. So dito. Next. If, uh, kapag negative 5, 10.18. Kapag negative 5, 10.18. So ito, 10.18 dito. So dyan. Sorry. So as you can see, itong, if you're going to connect the dots, ganito ang nangyayari. So, kapag i-extend mo yan, ganyan. So, this is the first part of the graph. Next, kapag negative 3, negative 6.86. So, negative 7. Negative 3, negative 6.86. Kapag negative 2, negative, negative 2, negative 2.5. So, kapag negative 2, negative 2.5. So, negative 2, negative 2.5. Kapag negative 1, it's 0 0.89. Kapag negative 1, make it closer. If it is negative 1, if it is negative 1, it's negative 8.89. So, negative 1, negative 89. So, as you can see, itong 5 dots, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If you're going to connect them, ganito ang mangyayari. So, Sa dulo, extend mo lang. Pero dito, hindi... Dito, extend mo yan pataas. So, you could extend it in here hanggang pataas. If you like, pwede rin dito lang. Next, for this one, if it's 1, it's negative 1.6. So, kapag 1, negative 1.6. Or, it should be higher. If it's 2, negative 0 0.2 if it is 2, 0 0.2 dito sa baba if it is 5, 0 0.39 if it is 5, 0 0.39 so sa taas, malapit sa center ng 1, so these are the 4 dots because it's our x intercept, so connect mo lang yung tat apat so ganito mangyayari extend mo dito sa dulo extend mo rin dito sa dulo Huwag mo talaga i-touch itong red lines because that's our asymptote. So, that's our graph. So, as you can see, that's our graph. Next, to identify the domain as what I have told you, at the domain, hindi kasali ito, the vertical asymptote. So, it's not equal. Instead, dito, but dito equal. Dito not equal to 1 half and negative 4. Dito naman sa range, you're going to base it on the horizontal asymptote. It's 1.5. However, Kapag titignan mo dito sa graph, di ba ito ang horizontal asymptote? Ito si 1.5. However, asymptote nyo siya dito sa kabilang parts, pero dito sa gitna, dumaan siya. Kapag dumaan siya sa horizontal asymptote, ibig sabihin nyo, kasali rin, kasali rin yung horizontal asymptote. So, it's not, we're not going to use it, not equal to 1.5. But, kapag kasali ito siya, what you're going to use is, y such that y is an element of real numbers. Ibig sabihin lahat ng values ng y, there's a value for x. So this is our graph. That's the graph of this function and this are other parts. So thank you very much.